What's going on everyone? I'm Alex and today I'm unboxing a very exciting phone. This is the replacement for my OnePlus One. It is uh, called the Meizu MX4 Pro. So uh, this phone costs around $450. Uh, I got it from China, obviously it's a Chinese device. It has an octa-core processor, it's an Exynos uh, processor, basically the same processor used in a Samsung Galaxy Alpha. It has 3 gigs of RAM. Um, I believe uh, this one has 32 gigs of internal storage, has a 5.5 uh, inch uh, display, it's a 2K display so it should uh, look really nice and a 3350 milliamp uh, battery so it should uh, last pretty long. Nice of them that they only declared uh, 20 bucks on the parcel otherwise I would have paid uh, quite a bit in uh, Customs. However, it took about five weeks uh, to get it, so it took quite a while. I chose free shipping, so we'll see how uh, this is. It should be running Android 4.4.4 still. I'm not sure when uh, they'll update uh, to Lollipop. The reason why I got this was uh, for the fingerprint uh, sensor. It has a fingerprint sensor similar to the one found in the uh, Apple products. Oh, this is wrapped quite a bit, but I guess better safe than sorry. And almost here. And I guess that should be it. And. Uh, I did get a screen protector with it. Hopefully it's for the right phone. It says MX4, so we'll uh, I'll have to check that out. This box is so so small and slim. So on the front here we have the MX4 uh, Pro name. I'm not sure what this is. Probably the color. Hopefully not. Uh, it says Meizu on this side, nothing on this side, looks like a book to be really honest. Oh yeah, it is supposed to look like a book. I'm not sure if you can see the texture here, but it looks like a whole bunch of uh, pages. We have a sticker here, like a seal, and uh, some information on the back here. So it's the grey color, 32 gig uh, version. So uh, let me cut this open and uh, open the box. Can't wait to see this phone. I'm really excited about it. Oh ho ho! And I do like the the box. looks uh, looks very nice. This is the phone itself. It's quite a big phone, I have to say. I think it's bigger than my OnePlus One, to be honest. And everything here is in Chinese, so. I have no idea what uh, that says. Alright, so let's see what else we have in the box here. So we get uh, an adapter for Europe. I'm happy to see that it comes with a North American charger. Um, this is the cable here. This reminds me a lot of the Apple cable. And a quick manual here. Or warranty information I guess uh, which is uh, all in Chinese and I wonder if there is something else in the box here underneath this but probably not okay oh I see so the the box is actually a book that's why it looks like a book so it has a couple of pages this is so cool too bad that everything is in Chinese again and I have no idea how to to read Chinese. I can see the pros right here. It shows the fingerprint sensor and the operating system. They basically like their launcher flying uh, for. It's, uh, it's gonna be quite interesting from what I've uh, seen. But uh, let's check out the phone. So uh, on the front here, the 5.5 inch uh, display. This is the fingerprint sensor. Uh, you don't have to actually swipe this one, you just press it and uh, it should unlock the the phone. Let me remove the screen protector here. Alright, 
So this is the front facing camera, the speaker, I believe the proximity sensors and the light sensors are here, I'm not sure where the notification light is, we'll have to check that out. It's gonna be interesting because this phone doesn't have uh, the return or the menu buttons, those are done by gestures, so we'll see how that, uh, that goes. This phone has a non-removable uh, battery as well. Okay, but the back should uh, be removable here. Let's uh, first look here. This is the speaker, I believe, uh, the charging port. This is the microphone right here. No buttons on this side. I see that the power button is on top here. Uh, looks like a HTC button, pretty much. That's uh, another microphone. This could be the notification light. I may be wrong, I'll uh, have to check that out. This is the headphone jack and the volume buttons and at the back here this is a 20.7 megapixel camera this is basically the same camera used in the Sony Xperia Z3 the dual tone uh, flash and let me take this out here all right this is the NFC chip right here this is the battery here the 33 50 milliamp battery. It says do not uh, remove. Obviously, it's non removable. And uh, I guess the SIM card goes in here. There is like a SIM card in here already. Oops, strange. So there is a SIM card inside. I wonder what this is. Maybe it's like a test SIM card. Unless somebody tested the phone before they sent it, I have no, no idea why this SIM card is inside. Alright, so uh, let's leave it to doubt the SIM card. It was a bit uh, strange. Alright, and let's uh, see if this power is on. It's probably gonna be all in Chinese. So, I'll have to check that out. It vibrated, so, oh boy. That's the logo, I believe. That was definitely in Chinese. Hopefully, there's not a carrier, uh, a Chinese carrier. And it's on. Okay, I don't really know how to use this. Rotation, vibration. Okay, no. So this is like the task uh, manager. But uh, I'm not sure how to push those buttons there. This is like the messaging uh, app. Right. Well, I don't really know where the settings app is, or any of these are for that uh, reason. Okay, so that goes back. And I still can't find the settings app. So, um, I guess we'll conclude uh, this test here. Oh, let's check out the camera since we have it, anyways. That uh, seems pretty quick. Quite a bit of uh, detail in the picture here. I'm not sure I can't uh, zoom in more. Well, uh, I'll have to check this out and it's pretty strange that it doesn't have like a return button so everything you have to do from the from the phone I like the fact that you can drag the notification uh, thing from anywhere so it's 
So this is it. Um, I'll uh, do some comparison videos uh, with my OnePlus One and the review video as soon as I uh, learn how to use it and where the settings app is, which I have no idea how to get to. Oh, I found the settings app. My bad. So this is very, very different from any Android phone that uh, any of us uh, know. Let's check out the brightness. Wow, that's pretty bright. So as you can see, it is very bright. And the screen looks uh, really sharp as well. And this is the fingerprint uh, sensor. Let me turn down the brightness. Alright. So this is where uh, I'm gonna set up the fingerprint uh, sensor. Location services. So... Uh, pretty exciting gestures wake so you can double screen to light up the screen let's check this out so it uh, works like on the one plus one oh, and this is uh, this is different again this is like the yes I have no idea what I'm doing or how to unlock the screen. Oh, okay, so you unlock the screen by swiping up. So, let's check this. So, this is how you unlock the screen. And this would be like a fast uh, app, uh, pretty much. So, uh, interesting. We'll have to, to check that out uh, in detail. It should have 32 gigs of storage. So there are 25 uh, left. This phone doesn't take a memory card. That's the downside. That's why I got the 32 gig version. And uh, I'm trying to find the. Uh... So Android 4.4.4. Alright, thanks for watching, I'll uh, come back with the full review when I uh, learn how to use this phone.